Well, I'm a pastor here uh, in this church, Christ Redeemer, and we also have a mission uh, 10 minutes away from here up in the hills called St. Peter. And what we do is uh, try to evangelize the, more, the, the most people that we can and sharing the good news for them. And uh, when you're working in this area, what is this area like that you're, well, you're helping? The, well, the contest is not easy in this area because there are so many drug addicts and um, also there are followers of soccer teams in Peru, uh, which when they get together, there are hundreds or maybe thousands and they start fighting each other just because they are followers of one soccer team in Lima, Peru. So I so. In the late in the last eight years working here, I had three teenagers dying because of this. And I'm personally have to go to the cemetery and do the burial for them. That's how, how bad it is. And what it keeps me keep working in this difficult contest is because I had the calling from God. And you also work in the prisons here? here. Yeah, there is a, a, a minor's preventive prison uh, for teenagers. Uh, how, I, how I got this place is because, like I said, the contest, one of the teenagers got in trouble and got into this place. Parents didn't want to go uh, to see him. He didn't want to know anything about this, you know, this guy. So the only hope was us, the church. So I went with my wife and uh, we spoke to the mayor, the boss of this place. And they were asking me why I'm, why I'm there because I'm not, I was not a, a, actually a family of this guy. And I introduced myself and I shared with them uh, the name we do in our church. And then we had a link and they enjoyed what we, what we do with these uh, teenagers. They said, please come and do this with our teenagers here in this place. They said, well, um, since that, every Tuesdays in the mornings, I visit the prison.